Orte, Orte! Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy ass bastard, Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenifortshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork tongued Dane. Foul smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Don't tie me! I can still find me! To fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, a most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Abel. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it back together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, you on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its lifeline into the drip.
But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this folk is. I haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Haste. <laughs> we have time yet. They're holding the trials just ahead. My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No, we must be careful. Do not let the executioner swing his axe. I should not be seen in this area. No closer, please. Hey. Stop there, you. <laughs> they are about to execute the prisoners. Help the others. Idrid sent me to find you. Let's go, now. You'll regret this! Down with Lady! Oh! 
safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Elderman for years. Now his widow wants to knock off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? 
He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke? If you want my backing, brother, you'll explain yourself. How is a madwoman central to your plans? When we find her, I will tell you all you wish to know. Until then, nothing. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. No soldiers here now. Gidrets has cleared them all out. Well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. It was bloody business. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Giedrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. 
He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Ungodless savages. <laughs> you notice how they jump whenever someone mentions... <laughs> Dear God, we're in trouble! Watch out over there, men! Oh, Christ in holy heaven! Gidrich asked me. Gidrich asked me to help you whenever I could. Edwin's soldiers have got us in a tough spot. We're grateful for any help you can give. thing my way.
Survey the area, Sunan. Go! I must be careful now. Go on. I'll slap you. We are going to flee you. Asked about this lamp, my friend. How do we charm her when she's in our care? Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question, she'll answer ten. Good. And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. You can steal all the silver and gold you want. But if there are no more farmers in the field to hire, it's useless metal. Men from all across Mercia will heed the call to fight a woman pledged to Wessex. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. For there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. St. Albanese will not disappoint. It is famous for its treasures. We'll see about that. What do we know of this woman? Very little. 
She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. with this. The Lord 
bodies. <laughs> Can't do this alone. Could they have moved her? No. She's here somewhere. Help me with this. At long last. Like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce through this land, to see beyond and above the lies of Yaldabaoth, to know the first mystery that is the last mystery that is the twenty fourth mystery. Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus or the self begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. 
Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. Help! What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yeldon. The demiurge of many names. A lesser god. Saclas and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Are 
on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy in your head. Eid means eyes and ears, no doubt. Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Ransacked from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This was Eden's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. I do not know where. This moves. It must be there. Brother Paul is very clever. It could be hidden anywhere. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. It's a stone, Sigurd. You're chasing shadows like a madman howling at the moon. What matters is victory against Edwin and her allies. This was my victory. To know my true self. My destiny. My... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin, a stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. 
Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gidrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Avon. Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolfkist. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. <laughs> You move with the wrath of Odin, but you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? 
I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Etwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulgay. 